Our Lesla Gooden heard from a Vallejo resident who welcomes reforms but doesn't always feel safe around police. The things that the attorney general reiterated are correcting the injustices done in Vallejo, repairing and rebuilding the trust between police and the citizens that they serve. Are there any criminal investigations by your office into on Monday morning, the attorney general for California announced a stipulated agreement between the city of Vallejo, its police department and the California Department of Justice to address reforms to VPD's policies and practices. The original agreement from 2020 included 45 recommendations necessary to reform, improve and modernize the Vallejo Police Department's policies and practices, practices around use of force, community engagement, bias, accountability, transparency. For example, this included reforms regarding Vallejo's response to officer-involved shootings. In the nearly 45-minute press conference, Vallejo's current chief of police also spoke promising improvement and cultural change within the department. Can you actually address um, maybe to the community members who have made complaints or to family members who made complaints because this is who directly is being affected by this? What message do you have to them? When police departments received a complaint, uh, we would investigate it. We would investigate it through our internal affairs or whatever mechanism we had to investigate it. I think with these new systems, we now have randomized reviews, randomized audits. The goal is really to set a system in place where we don't have to wait for a complaint. And this is A. Esperanza, a Vallejo resident who at one point was unhoused and tells us she often interacted with VPD. They seen us out, out here at night um, walking around. So they offered us blankets and they offered us books. So I had great experience in that. Um, but then sometimes there's unpleasant experiences when I see them bothering people. She adds that she too believes more officers are needed. Another point mentioned in the press conference. Local civil rights attorney John Burris, who says VPD has a systemic history of police misconduct, says this is just the first step. The question is whether this new agreement brings about a change where the officers will now admit when they've done something wrong and, and so the police, will, the community will have confidence in, in them as opposed to them seeking to cover up. But Esperanza says more compassionate cops are the key. They can approach me, I don't know, I'll be deathly scared. I would, especially if I'm a female out on the street. I would be terrified. Five years. Here it goes. I, I believe that there's positive people that will step in and be leaders. And the ones that are not, they're slowly going to be weeded out because they ain't going to be able to follow the guidelines. And the AG says that both parties have agreed to a five year plan regarding this and that the necessary documents are being filed in the Solano Superior Court. Some of the incidents that sparked public outrage and led to calls for reform include the 2019 Vallejo police shooting of rapper Willie McCoy. Officers fired 55 shots into McCoy's car outside a Taco Bell drive through McCoy was unresponsive in the driver's seat with a gun in his lap. In 2020, a Vallejo officer involved in three prior shootings killed 22-year-old Sean Monterosa. Police say the officer thought Monterosa had a gun. It turned out to be a hammer.